Hello everybody! Today we're going to unbox and take a close-up look at the Cat Direct Lightweight Travel Tripod. So let's first take a look around the outside of the box. So this is a lightweight travel tripod with a magnesium alloy construction. So now let's go ahead and open up the box. So let's pop out that flap there and slide the contents of the box out and always making sure that there's nothing else left behind in the box. Now of course, you can now set that to the side. Okay. And moving along, as you can see that the tripod does come with a carry case. Let me slide the box further across or out of the frame so we can see the tripod and its accessories more clearly. So you can see now the in full view, the tripod carry case for the Cat Direct lightweight travel tripod. So it is a pretty compact tripod and it comes with a sling carry case. I'm just giving you an all on look at the case because that's always an area to consider when having a run and gun or travel tripod. So now let's go ahead and undo the zipper to reveal the tripod and you can see it is nicely wrapped up so let's remove it from the sling bag or carry bag so that's emptied out nothing else left behind we can now zip that up and perhaps set it to the side right there for the time being and actually just show you both the tripod and the carry case in the shot right there okay now sliding the carry case across we can start to separate the accessories so you can see it does come with a few items in addition to the carry case and making sure that we've removed most of the contents so there we go you can hear that the tripod is very solid sounding all right so let's first start off it comes with what appears to be a cleaning pen for cleaning your camera lenses or video camera lenses okay so nice flat pad there and of course on the other side is a bristle brush very soft brush right there good for dusting out or wiping any lint and dirt from your camera lenses so I'm gonna show you both sides fully extended right there with the cleaning brush and hopefully the camcorder can get a focus on the cleaning brush at some point let's do it again there we go there we go we now have focus right there okay so cleaning brush covered setting it to the side right there perhaps and then moving on to the next item next item we can see comes with a microfiber cleaning cloth so i'm not going to unpackage this not really necessary it's going to take up a bit too much time now and moving on to the next item which is some accessories that work with the tripod as you can see what appears to be some spare feet and an extension bar and of course the double-ended screw thread that will work with the bar as well okay 
so no need to really look at those in too much detail. So I'm going to set that this way around so you can see what's what. And moving on to the main item, which is the tripod itself. So let's go ahead and unpackage it by sliding it out from its clear wrapper. And of course, it does come with some papers and an Allen key as well. So I'm going to go ahead and set that down just to give you another look at it with my hands out of the way. Okay, I'm going to open up this sealed bag here and remove the paper and the Allen key as well. So paper and Allen key. So Allen key, nothing too complicated, just a hex key or Allen key, depending on which region in the world you're at. Okay, and we can set that down as well. So we're gonna set that down on the packet right there to the side left of the screen. And then moving on to the user manual. So simple enough user manual, double-sided. One side is in Chinese. And let me just extend it and unfurl it so you can see what's what. So the Chinese side here and on the reverse side would be the English instructions. So turning it around for the English side. So right there, hopefully all the information that you need. I'm going to zoom it in or bring it closer to the camera so you can see the text and details a little bit more clearly. So there we go. All right, so instructions on how to use it. And of course, the diagrams of the tripod itself. And on this lower side of the user manual. Okay, so that's the user manual covered for the Ket Direct lightweight travel tripod. Now we go ahead and set that down to the side and place that Allen key on it to keep the paper down. And of course, now we have a nice good look. I'm gonna slide that bag across a bit more of the Ket Direct lightweight travel tripod. So you can see it does have blue anodized accents around the screw joints. Just going to give you an all-round look at it. In terms of weight, um, there is a sturdy, solid weight to it. So it's not entirely light, but it has that very reassuring, uh, weighty feel to it. Okay, so you can see in the palm of my hand, so for some reference into the size of the tripod right there. Okay, so close-up detail, there is a balance hook there for suspending and providing some counterbalance to the tripod and of course the head is on this side right now the mounting head okay and it is protected by a suede or velvet cover right there nice to see that some care has been given in making sure that the tripod arrives in a good, safe condition. All right, giving you some close-up looks as well into the little details of the tripod right there. So you can see nice screw joints, very smooth to actuate, quick and easy. And the feet right there. And we do have two spare feet, which is always nice to see because obviously if you're doing a lot of traveling, running and gunning with a tripod like this out and about in the great outdoors or street photography, you'll eventually wear out those feet. And as we saw earlier, it does come with a pair of spare feet in that accessory package to the left of the screen. Okay, so I think we've had a pretty good look 
right round. Let's go ahead and of course show you the head. So you can see it does flip all the way around and those clicks sound so so solid. As you can see, it does have these latches here as I bend it around. It does click very very precisely and now we do have the head on this side now so we're going to set it down so you can see what's exactly happened we flip the legs right round from that side all the way to the upright side and of course what we can do now is undo this head cover here I'm just going to pop the velvet like soft cover off so you can see I'm just going to rest it in there maybe not a good idea black on black okay there we go and just drop the head cover there I'm going to set it up there and then now you can have a good close up look to the mount right here so you can see the kit direct with the model number for the mount and let's screw it down the head on the tripod right there so you can see there we go it does of course have a quick release plate right there and a bullseye or circular bubble spirit level on the right hand side or left hand side depending on the orientation in which you set the tripod Okay, so nice good look here. And of course, it does have these thumb screws for quick and easy adjustment. You can hear just how silent that is. And with the rotation right there, nice good rotation around the ball head right there. And to tighten, simply just turn the thumb screw right there to lock in place okay with the let me shorten the tripod so the tripod uh, before I do that let's spread the legs out a bit so that the shaft of the tripod can lower so now we're looking at the tripod in its usable form but also in the most retracted form as well, most shortened or compressed form, but usable. So it does compress down to 18 inches, which is what is shown right now, and does extend up to about 65 inches. So it does really extend quite a fair bit. I'm gonna give you a look at the head now. With the quick release plate so right there and size of the cat direct lightweight travel tripod and it's most shortened and use but usable form okay gonna set it down again right there and then gonna flip it again right there so you can see what's what remove the pouch down and then show it to you again right here okay so nice good all-round look at the cat direct lightweight travel tripod and the details as well with those catches right there and you can see that it does have a monopod leg right there that detaches or separates from the main tripod assembly and to be used as a single monopod so very simply, 
you now have a monopod that also extends. So now I can show you the extension on the leg very quickly. Like that. Oops, I kind of lost the sleeve. Overextended that part. Let me put it all back together. So set it back down. So you can see what's what. And we do have these plastic sleeves. And of course, we can simply put it all back together. It's very, very simple to do. Both on the side there. Just making sure that we do have the notches in the right orientation. Okay. Sliding it in. And let's see if we do have this correct. And making sure that the position is correct. So there is a groove in the inside of the shaft as well. So there we go. No worries there. Quick and easy adjustment, of course. There we go. Just don't overdo it. <laughs> Which is what I did. Just loosen it enough so that you can make your adjustments with the tripod leg. So three joints there for quick, easy adjustment. So one, two, and of course, the third one right there. Just being very careful here because I don't want to have to reassemble it again and take up too much of this video time here. So there we go, fully extended three joints, starting with the lowest joint, and then from the lowest to the middle joint, and then from the middle to the top uppermost joint. So very, very long indeed, and works as a monopod. You can see how quickly it tightens as well, just with the simple use of thumb and index finger to quickly tighten the monopod or tripod leg. So right there, full extension of the monotop pod with a thick foam grip as well. So very easy to identify as compared with the other legs right there. Having the thick foam pod uh, pad and the indicator that it is the monopod leg right there. So, okay. Okay, so now let's go ahead collapse it all down and then I'm going to show you the entire height of course of the kept direct lightweight travel tripod you can see just how quickly this thing all comes together and we're done so reassembled Right there and of course with the quick release plate just comes apart like that and it does appear to have a quarter inch screw mount okay on the quick release plate just going to and it does have rubber grip pads as well on the plate right there so nice and simple with the thumb screw to quickly lock it down just like that okay so fully releasing it lets you lift it up so if you even forget to tighten it fully it still should stay in place right there you can see and then if you need to lock it down simply lock it fully down with that thumb screw right there okay very simply 
All right. Okay, now you can see the ball joint again, or head mount, ball mount. And now I'm going to just quickly mount a camera onto the quick release plate. So I do have my trusty Nikon D3300 DSLR camera. Very simply, place the plate into that screw hole at the bottom. And it's nice to see that it does come with a extra grip there, but otherwise you can use a screwdriver as well or coin to tighten the screw into the camera. So we go. And of course, very simply, placing the camera onto the mount and then tightening the thumb screw right there. So there with a camera attach, that is the Ket Direct lightweight travel tripod. And just to show you again, perhaps in this orientation. Okay, so nice, good look right there. And now what we're gonna do is we're going to extend it out fully and see the height of the tripod. So we might not be able to capture the entire height of the tripod, but I'll do my best. Right there, of course. You can see just how quickly the legs drop down, but remember not to over-release those joints, because as you saw earlier, it does slide up fully, but it's not too hard to reassemble it. Okay, so very quick release. There we go. Right there, with the tripod legs fully extended. Of course, I should tighten the legs, just making sure that it's more or less tightened. So that's fully extended and for the top uh, we can of course release the shaft with the shaft and extend that camera higher up. Okay, just making sure that in the right orientation as well. adjustments mm -hmm. and just double checking right there and of course with the ball head right there and now we have a fully extended tripod so I'm just going to show you from the bottom all the way up it is quite an extensive extension with a maximum height of 65 inches so very very high or tall indeed from the top all the way to the bottom. So in compacted form, usable compacted form, does go down to 18 inches, but being fully extended, as you see right here, about 65 inches. Okay, and you saw how quickly it was to assemble it.
let's go ahead and break it back down. So if you need a counterweight as well, you can add some weight to this hook at the bottom to give it a bit more stability. So now we're going to put the tripod all the way together. By retracting the tripod legs, and of course, quickly like that. And should you need to collapse it more, of course, we take the camera off, being very careful not to over release it. And I'm going to Set the camera right down, and then should you need to fully close up, you simply press those lever down, and then flip the legs entirely over. And of course we should drop that head as well, so always remember to drop that head down, right there, and then flipping the legs around by pressing it down first and then flipping it around very carefully and then we have a fully compressed or stowed away tripod right there ready to be traveling again and of course this tripod can be used in a variety of fashion as well it can be set in a very low position as well. So should you need to, you can set it low down, of course, right there. And it's very, very quick and easy to adjust as you can see. Very good adjustability right there. And of course, let's snap the quick release plate back on. Spreading it open, putting it down, and then clamping it together again. Right there. So nice and easy to use tripod. up, so you can see, set it down right here, so you can see what's what right there. With the Ket Direct lightweight travel tripod, fully closed up now. And so quick and easy to operate, and you can see the lightweight magnesium alloy construction. It does look plasticky, but I can show you it is magnesium alloy, lightweight and very, very strong. And once again, I'm going to set the tripod right down. Of course, give you a quick show of how flat it can go as well. So what I showed you earlier, but this time I'm gonna set it up much more closely right there with the tripod. Of course, let's see and make sure that the legs are clicked to a position, of course, very fiddly here with my own tripod in the way. So possibly not a very good idea right now to be showing this to you close up. Okay, but we have 
some kind of adjustment there, as you can see. Obviously not equally balanced right now because of the tabletop surface being rather small to accommodate the three tripod legs right there. Okay, so just gonna fold those legs together. You can hear the very crisp clicks of the tripod. And let's slide the main shaft down. And then gonna set the tripod right down there. So that's the Cat Direct Lightweight Travel Tripod. Thanks for watching and happy mounting!